Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of antennas and propagation. In today's class, we are going to learn about introduction of basic antenna parameters. Okay. So first we need to know what is an antenna. So technically, antenna is considered as the region of transition between a transmission line and a space. Okay. So whatever the antenna is made up of, it is considered as the transmission line where electromagnetic wave passes through it and once that particular wave is released into free space okay that is considered as the uh, space okay or the free air okay so which is a wireless medium okay so an antenna generally radiate couple concentrate direct electromagnetic energy into the desired direction okay so it may be whatever the signal it is transmitting into free space it can be considered as a radiation, coupling, concentration, okay, of a particular direct electromagnetic energy into a desired direction. That directional can be sometimes of several direction or that direction can be of a particular desired direction, okay. So, based upon the direction, an antenna may be isotropic, which is nothing but it can be omnidirectional, that is a non-directional one, okay. So, it will be widely spreading the uh, signals into several directions, okay. The, irrespective of a particular direction, it will be spreading into several directions or an antenna may be uh, an anisotropic, okay. So, which is very much directional, okay. So, wherever that particular signal has to go, that is already desired, okay, and fixed and based on that, that moves according to that particular direction okay so while choosing an antenna many electrical mechanical and structural aspects are are to be taken into an account okay based on these things the antenna mechanism or the antenna uh, the wave which is flowing through that particular antenna will be suffering several properties see these aspects include radiation pattern, gain efficiency, impedance and frequency characteristics based on the particular structural or the sh shape of the antenna, okay. So, it can be the shape, size, weight and look of the antenna and uh, it based on their economic viability, okay. And in some application, same antenna may be used for both transmission and reception of the signal and but in some application, both transmission and reception will be done by separate antennas, okay. So, these also, these antenna also will differ in shape, size as well as characters, okay. So, the cost, shape, size, etc. makes the main difference along with that high efficiency, high gain can also be considered as the basic requirements of transmission and receiving antennas, okay. See, coming to the basic antenna parameters, a radio antenna may be defined as the structure, it can be any kind of structure, okay, associated with the region of transition between a guided wave and a free space wave or vice versa. Suppose, let us say the an antenna is transmitting, okay. So, this particular antenna can be considered as a guided wave transmission line through which the signal is propagating into a free space. And suppose if an antenna is receiving that particular signal. So, what's happening? A signal is getting from the sp free space to the guided wave of a transmission line. Here, Transmission line with respect to guided wave is nothing but the receiving antenna, okay. So, always the transition of the signal happens between the guided wave transmission line as well as free space. Free space can be considered as into A or space, okay. So, antenna converts electrons, whatever the energy electromagnetic flow or the signal is flowing with some uh, data, okay. So, that can be considered as some sort of uh, that energy can be considered as some sort of electrons that will be converted into photons and vice versa, okay. So, here the photons are considered as not light but radiation, okay. So, regardless of antenna type, 
all the all the antennas will involve the basic principle that radiation is produced by the accelerator charge as the electromagnetic waves are moving transmitted and is received through a particular antennas okay or any type of uh, antennas okay it involves the basic principle where the radiation is evolved okay so the basic equation of radiation may be expressed or will be expressed in let's see the equation right now see i dot l is equal to q v dot ampere meters per second which is the basic radiation equation where i dot is considered as the time changing current as the electromagnetic wave is moving from through the antennas okay the current changes with respect to time which is considered as the i dot okay with respect to amperes per second and l is considered as the length of the current element how much that particular current has changed its uh, its uh, uh, parameters uh, based on the length of an antenna okay it is considered with respect to the meters and q is considered as the charge which is noted by c okay and v dot is nothing but the time change of velocity which is equal to the acceleration of the charge this is considered as uh, the change in time of that particular velocity of a signal which is equals to the charge acceleration charge which is considered as meters per second square okay therefore time changing current and accelerator charge radiates okay so for the steady state harmonic variation if at all the signal is steady okay we usually focus on current okay if at all the signal is in the pulse form we focus on charge okay now see the radiation is perpendicular to the radiation in the sense whatever the signal we are transmitting and receiving the radiation uh, is perpendicular to the acceleration and radiated power is proportional to the square of il or qv we have already seen what is il and what is qv right okay so here what you need to see is the radiation the signal which is in free space is perpendicular to the acceleration of that particular the uh, energy or the charge and the radiated power whatever the radiated signal carries that power that is proportional to the square double of that particular il length of that particular antenna okay change in the particular uh, current okay or charge and the change in the velocity okay everything is considered okay now as we have already said transmitting antenna is the region where the transition happens from a guided wave on a transmission line into free space air okay now what happens to the receiving antenna from the free space air the signal is received to the guided wave on a transmission line okay therefore an antenna is a transmission device or we can call it as a transducer between a guided wave and a free space or vice versa okay it depends on the transmitting antenna or receiving antenna okay now we can simply say this antenna is a device which interfaces between a circuit circuitry in the sense the antenna circuitry and the space or the free air okay or the wireless medium okay now what happens in the transmitting end of an antenna in the transmitting case the radiated power is absorbed by the objects uh, at a distance like trees buildings ground sky and some other antennas once the antenna transmit the signals into free space as the signal need to receive the other end of the antenna which we are going to transmit in between there are so many obstacles or the objects like trees buildings okay it can be anything Uh, some objects which keep on observing the uh, signal so the signal which is propagated into free air once the receiving antenna receives it that receiving antenna experience some sort of resistance that means there is some loss of signal with respect to the charge or the power or the okay something like that okay so 
what happened to the lost signal it got absorbed by the objects through in the free space while traveling okay now let's see an uh, transmitting antenna and the receiving antenna coming to the transmitting antenna we have a transmitter through which the antenna is connected in between the antenna as well as the transmitter we have a transmission line through which the signal is propagating okay so all this uh, transmission line the energy whatever the carried by the transmission line is released into free space okay so we can also see over here e lines electric lines okay so which is nothing but the fields what we experience whenever the signal is getting transmitted okay everything is the everything what uh, the signal which is moving in the free space is considered as an uh, radiation okay now once the receiving antenna receives that particular electric lines okay so again it will travel through the transmission line of that particular receiving antenna and the signal at last go to the receiver end okay so therefore a receiving antenna may be same as a remote sensing temperature measuring device temperature in the sense whatever the signal which is transmitted into the free space or free air okay that should be received as i already said that particular signal will be having some sort of radiation radiation in the in the sense it will be experiencing some sort of temperature okay now this particular receiver measures that particular temperature and it experience or calculate the particular resistance okay how much that particular signal loss has been happened so based on that also the signal received can be calculated okay now see so uh, this is an uh, receiving antenna okay so this particular receiving antenna will have an virtual resistance which is considered as rr capital r uh, smaller okay so the radiation resistance rr may be thought as a virtual resistance and it does not actually exist physically okay but it is a measure okay so within the antenna whatever the signal is re re received by this particular antenna it suggests a measure like a virtual resistance like how much uh, antenna to distance regions of a space wire virtual transmission line okay so it this particular resistance is not a physical resistance but as the signal is received by this particular receiving antenna it experience some sort of resistance okay based on the temperature of that particular received signal okay so by that we can also estimate the how much signal has got lost or how much it is um, pending okay or received okay so this is how an uh, receiving antenna uh, uses a virtual resistance which does not exist physically okay and the radiation resistance or the physical resistance is denoted by capital R small r mm -hmm.